Hey, Vic. Um, on the injury front, what's the plan for Drew on today? Yeah, we're going to practice Drew today again. Um, we'll give Brett some reps, but see exactly where Drew is so we can make a good decision, you know, hopefully by the end of the day tomorrow as to who would be the starter and go from there. Will you list Drew as questionable? Yes. Right. And then uh, some of the other guys who were limited yesterday, uh, what will they will they be listed as question as well? Uh, Fant. Yeah, Fant will be questionable. Uh, Jake Rogers, Joe Jones is out, and everybody else will be full. Okay. Um, and then with Beck and Wilkinson, any chance they get activated from the IR? Uh, not probably not. You know, unless we have a change in plans, I think they'll both be down another week. And then last thing for me, uh, team announced no fans after Sunday's game. How disappointing is that, but also how understandable is that? Well, it's very understandable. You know, I, it's the team working with uh, local officials. It's happened to uh, many uh, teams across the league. Um, you know, we miss our fans. Our fans are probably the most passionate fans in the, in the uh, league. We, we miss their support. Uh, Fortunately, you know, I've run into a couple of them out on late night when I make my get my gas and stuff, and they've all been super supportive of us. I really enjoy talking to our fans and meeting them. And we're going to admit we've missed them all season, you know, other than the 5,000 that have been able to be there. And hopefully, uh, you know, moving forward, they'll be back in there. But it's definitely a blow to the team, and we miss our fans. Next one, Jeff Michael. Vic, just kind of – you know, walk through what you want to see from Drew to, to make a decision in terms of physically and, and, you know, what do you want to see from him in practice, essentially, before you make the call? Yeah, throwing and operating without showing any um, effects of the injury. And then also, you know, when he comes in the following day, how he feels. You know, to me, that's the big thing there. Is he throwing it accurately? Is he throwing it on time? Is his motion altered at all? Anything like that. It, did you see any of that uh, yesterday? And then when he came in this morning, what did, what did he say? He was a little that? sore this morning, but that's to be expected because he hadn't really done much since the game on Sunday. Um, but didn't see too much of the uh, altering of his delivery and stuff. Next one, Zach Stevens. Hey, Coach, if, if Locke isn't healthy enough to start, is there a chance he dresses a, as an emergency backup or will he not even be active? I think all options are on the table as it relates to that, um, that moving forward. He could be the backup if we decide not to start him or he could be inactive either way. Next one, Kyle Newman. Hey, Coach, with the offensive line, what sort of strides are you looking for them to make this week? Just to continue to uh, operate efficiently, we need to be make sure we're going to the right guys. These guys are um, the multiple defense. They'll give you some different looks. We got to get on the right people, both in the run and the pass, sustain our blocks, and make a special emphasis to try and get the running game going. Next one, Eric. Yeah, Coach, aside from Drew's injury status, do you see you know his understanding of what he needs to do this week improve as he – kind of taking steps there in practice and suggest he'll be able to rebound from the four interceptions? I think so. I think he had a, the reps he took yesterday. He had a good day mentally for the most part. Um, I think he's in a good spot in relationship to what you're asking. Next one, Mike Chris. Hey, Coach, uh, you know, the Dolphins had struggled for a while. And they started 0-7 last year. Where, where did you see that they made the quantum leap that they've been able to turn things around right here? Anything specific you can pinpoint? Uh, well they, you know, they obviously had a major overhaul in the last year and a half from a personnel standpoint. Um, they found their identity on defense. They have a good secondary, good corners, and which allows them to uh, be aggressive up front. And I think the, Brian and his coaching staff have done a good job of bringing this team along. And they run a very efficient offense. They've really excelled in the kicking game. It's played a big part in a lot of their wins. And uh, we're going to have to have our best game in special teams this week. Guys, right, time for a few more. Next one, Ryan. Hey, Vic, uh, two for you. Uh, first one, who starts at right tackle on Sunday? Right now, I think we're looking at Dot. Okay. 
And then uh, follow, follow up is Bradley Chubb's been shut out the last couple of games, along with most of the pass rush. What can you do maybe to scheme them things up to get Bradley going again? Well, we just, you know, we got to do a better job overall on first and second down of uh, getting in some more third downs. Um, it, you know, last week there really wasn't a lot of throws. Um, but Bradley's been getting close. You know, sometimes that happens on a week-to-week basis. But we're, we're good with the way he's rushing and confident that he'll get home here at some point. Final two, Jeff and Brandon, go ahead, Jeff. Nick, uh, when you've looked at it, how much of the bad things that have happened on offense have you traced to the turnovers? Well, that's a good bit of it, obviously. We lead the league in turning it over, which is never a good thing to be leading the league in, and, you know, which has had a major effect on the team along with the offense. So, yeah, turning it over has been a problem. You know, huge problem. Anytime you're high in that area, you know, your chances go down. Final one, Brian. Coach, tomorrow I believe every team has to switch to uh, the intensive protocols. You guys have been operating in that for the better part of a month. I know you talked about you kind of had your routine down. Does that change much, or do you think you'll be a little ahead of the curve? You think you'll be ahead of the curve because you've already been doing that? Yeah, I think I don't think we're going to have to change very much, you know, with our daily operation that we've been doing here this week in particular, I think we'll be able to sustain it. I don't, you know, I haven't got final confirmation of that, but I do think we'll be able to stay the same.